today's the day. We are kind of late, but we're headed to the hospital um, to be induced. We're gonna have a baby, another one. <laughs> Eight years later, how do you feel? What? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> so, um, yeah, we're getting induced today. We had to, my mom's here, so that's good. We don't have to worry too much about the kids and they're at school. Um, but we had to go to the school and verify that they were okay to ride the bus because they haven't ridden the bus in two years. Um, and then we brought his car so my mom could have the van. And I'm scared, I'm very nervous, but. Didn't sleep. Yeah, I didn't sleep. If Her, you, I yeah, slept like a baby. If you can't tell by my under eye rings. I kept waking up thinking I missed my alarm and I was gonna miss my induction. Um, so I was up probably every hour. Well, maybe a little more than that because I woke up at four and then at four thirty again. So um But if you missed it today then you wouldn't have a baby. Right. Like ever. Like right. A baby would never be born. He'd be just stuck inside of me forever. I, I believe that because he doesn't want to come naturally. So we're almost there. Um, we're not as late as I thought we were because he has his clock ahead. So that's right. We're okay. Um, we're gonna get to the hospital exactly on time, and then we got to go up to the third floor. But, yeah, I figured I'd start the vlog. I don't know how much I'm gonna vlog. I don't know how much is gonna be filmed. Period. Because we have birth videos for the two other kids, but I know that you know most doctors don't allow filming and during the procedure so we'll see <laughs> I'm just hoping that this goes smoothly and I don't have to get a c-section that's my main my main goal is to just not have to get a c-section but this is it I'm proclaiming it this will be the last time I'm pregnant the Until last the day I'm pregnant yes with this baby. I don't really think we're gonna have any more babies, but I can't tell the future. <laughs> um, so yes, we're almost there. Now we're stuck behind a school bus, of course, um, but we're almost there. So how are you feeling? So they couldn't get the baby's monitor from the outside, the heart rate, right, the heartbeat monitor. So they had to put some special tubing stuff inside. So they, that's why they had to break my water. Um, so that they can monitor his heart rate, which seems to be good. I don't know how you're going to handle the baby because you couldn't handle that. No, the baby's head is so low that they can't, they got to reach in the back to get my cervix and they're like, kill me with their fingers. <laughs> they had to like hang me upside down and on my legs and I was kicking the nurse. So then I started to feel bad for kicking the nurse. It's not, not good. So... I'm not getting an epidural, but I might be requesting some pain meds soon. Um, right now I'm shaking and I'm exhausted. So I'm gonna try to sleep a little bit because I'm assuming things are gonna go pretty quickly from here since my water's broken. So, we shall see.
going really good until they get there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Look at the grumpy face. <laughs> Face, yeah, he got a little pouty face. <laughs> hey, honey. How you doing, buddy? Hey. He looks grumpy. <laughs> that was not fun when hey, you were making it all. I'm going to try to get him to as quickly as I can, Mom. How are you feeling? Uh, I'm pain. But you did it. You see, you could do it. No epidural? Barely. I hear you. Um, I just want to um, see him. Can you see him? You can't see him? He's right Do you see brother. him? What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> Joey, he's got dark hair like your sissy. Yeah, yeah, black hair. Yeah, he's a big guy. I think he's going to be like yeah, I think he's gonna look like her. <laughs> Hold them so I can take a picture. Hey guys, look at him. He's just sleeping. Kids just left. Junior cried, but I'll be okay. Um, I'm gonna get up and walk in a little bit when my husband comes back. He went to go switch cars with my mom and also get himself something to eat. They brought me food, it was pretty good. Um, but my butt's trying to start to hurt, so I'm ready to get up and walk a little bit. But baby's just sleeping. Um, he hasn't eaten yet, but they suspect that he might have, he might have a belly full of like blood and stuff um, because they think that my placenta ruptured um, he came out with a bunch of blood clots there was blood clots after um, so but he's doing well he's a sleepy boy right now I'm tired too I didn't sleep last night because I was so anxious and obviously didn't sleep when I was in labor so I'm ready to sleep I need to put his little gloves on him because his nails are really long 
I might have Daddy cut his nails when he comes back. Um, but I don't want to try to get up with him in my hands. So I'm going to wait for my husband to come back and try to get up and just maybe just walk back and forth in the room because I need to move. house till daddy gets home. That's what I think. Look, super baby. Baby uh, by day, superhero by night. <laughs> Cute. Thank you guys. You're welcome. We love you.
Good to have your baby brother home. Good. So far, right? Until he wakes you up in the middle of the night. <laughs> I don't think he will. I don't think he will either. I hear everything at night, but I don't think he will. I, I love how he is just so, like... How do you feel about having your baby brother home? Good. Are you excited? Huh? Yeah. Are you sure? That doesn't sound very yeah. convincing. <laughs> I can't. I can't say it too loud or I'll wake you up.